بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ I know the session is in Urdu lekin mere Urdu tha chani hai so if I apologize I will speak in English The Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat is a dynamic fast growing international revival movement within Islam Founded in 1889 the community spans over 190 countries with memberships exceeding tens of millions We have built over 10000 mosques over 500 schools and over 30 hospitals around the world. We have translated the Holy Quran into over 60 languages and we propagate the true teachings of Islam, which is the message of peace and tolerance. We are Muslims who believe in the Messiah, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, on whom be peace and promote love for all, hatred for none. We are flattered each year with our friendships across the country who take time to be at our annual Jalsa Salana. Today we are again honored to have the leader of the Federal Liberal Party the honorable Justin Trudeau join us. Many of our members were there with you in 2008 when you first won your seat in Papineau, Quebec. You have been a friend of the community since. I too thank you for becoming a personal friend of mine and appreciate your personal co- connection with myself, respected Amir Saab and all of our community members. On behalf of our Jamaat, I welcome the honorable leader Justin Trudeau. Thank you. Thank you for welcoming me here today. It's great to be back again this year at the Jalsa Salana convention. Congratulations President Lal Khan Malik for putting together such a great event that brings so many people from the community at such an important time of year, a time of faith, family, and friendship. Thank you also to our great liberal candidates for King Von Deb Schulz and for Von Woodbridge Francesco Sorbara to see you guys here too. I'm delighted to be back here among the Amadia community. Each time I feel the warmth of your friendship, your kindness and compassion. And with your help, I will be back again next year as your prime minister. Inshallah. Along with my colleagues like Judy Scro and Dr. Kirsty Duncan, I'm thankful for all the support the Ahmadiyya Muslim community has given me over the years. Some of my friends from the community who were there with me in Papineau for my very first election to parliament are here today as well. And thank you all once again for your friendship, your support, and your warm hospitality. My friends, today is a day to think about creating bonds and fostering unity and in many ways this upcoming election in october is just about that this is an election about who has the best plan to bring real positive change to your life and it is about what kind of canada we want to build together call me old fashioned call me idealistic but i believe in a canada that is united a canada that is strong not in spite of its differences but because of them a canada fort non pas en dépit de ses différences mais bien à cause d'elles recently though these values have been somewhat neglected i don't believe in dividing canadians i don't believe in using our differences as wedge issues or as ways to make us afraid of one another yet that is what has been happening too often lately canadians are being actively encouraged to doubt the value of each other's commitment to canada there is a suggestion that some of us might be less canadian than others a suggestion that who ought to decide who stays or goes from canada be an elected politician instead of our justice system. Well, I think that's wrong. 
the Liberal Party will always stand strongly against anyone who believes in two-tiered citizenship. Once acquired, Canadian citizenship should not be conditional. A Canadian is a Canadian is a Canadian. Canada is a proud liberal democracy, a welcoming and peaceful nation. Canada is a country of open hearts and open minds, of fairness, justice, and the rule of law. I speak to you today because I know the Ahmadiyya community believes in those same values, diversity and inclusion, or as you put it so well, love for all, hatred for none. When he was in Toronto, the fourth Khalifa, late Hazrat Mirza Tahir Ahmad, said, My prayer is that Canada should become the world and that the world should become Canada. I think we can all agree on that. Too many people in our world are forced to flee from persecution because of who they are, what they look like, or what they believe in. Canada needs to, once again, be a strong voice against that. And overseas, that means standing up for all Canadians. And that includes picking up the phone for Mohammed Fahmy. All Canadians need to know that the government has their back. Here at home, I'm proud that Liberals were the first to stand up against the harmful suggestion that wearing a hijab is as it has been put, not the way we do things here. Because as a matter of fact, it is. It is the way we do things here. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms guarantees that. It's also why I'm proud to say that Liberals will uphold the rights of people to practice their faith and participate fully in our society no matter whether you're wearing a niqab, a hijab, a turban, or a kippah. Nobody should be excluded. This is important. Thank you. This is important, not just for us, but for people everywhere. We have an Office of Religious Freedoms, and it must live up to its name. We cannot be a legitimate voice in the world on protecting freedoms abroad if at the same time we are curbing them here at home. Canadians expect our government to do two things well, protect our security and respect our rights and freedoms. Other parties are playing up the politics of fear around security. Fear of violence on one side, or fear for our freedoms on the other. The Liberal Party will always do what Canadians expect, which is to both protect our security and defend our rights. And. Canada needs to pull all communities together to counter the violent aberration of Islam that threatens our youth. In this, I thank the Ahmadiyya community for having long shown real leadership in this. As Hadrat Mirza Masrur Ahmad said, the Ahmadiyya religion teaches mutual respect. I know this to be true from my long friendship with the community. The Ahmadiyya community plays a vital role in promoting the positive diversity that is at the heart 
of Canada's success as a nation. I have often had I have often had great conversations with my friends, President Lal Khan Malik, Asif Khan, and Aslam Duad from Humanity First, about how you make a positive impact locally and around the world. In your work, in your communities and internationally, you reflect the best of Canadian values. Values. Values, I should add, that are shared by millions of your fellow Canadians of all descriptions. And in this way, you follow in the footsteps of so many other Canadians through the generations. You are the nation builders. And as you know, as I mentioned before, we are in an important election period. This is an election that will tell the world what kind of Canada that Canadians want. And I've been talking to Canadians like you all over this great country, and I know you want change, real change. That's why we'll invest in the middle class, invest in better roads and bridges, and a cleaner environment. See, there are people around today who want you to think that better is just not possible. Well, I know that's wrong. We know that in Canada, better is always possible. We have to challenge ourselves to step up, to reach out to our neighbors, to work together to build strong, diverse communities, to create a more equal society with more opportunities for all Canadians. And I do mean that, all Canadians. That's the Canada we need. That's the Canada the world needs us to be. Together, we can make that a reality, my friends. Thank you very much. May peace and blessings be upon you.